Hashtag my friends of the show that never ends. So glad you could attend. Now, in 1984, Tim Burton came up with a short film starring Shelley Duvall, as well as the kid from Never Ending Story, and the kid who played Daryl, and the film was called Frankenweenie. It was this short film about a kid named Victor Frankenstein, who had his little dog that he loved that died, and he brought back to life, and we see what happens there. Well, now we've got the stop-motion animation version of this film, the full-length feature called Frank and Weenie, and this time around we've got the voices of Catherine O'Hare, Martin Short, Martin Lando, Winona Ryder, I mean it's like a Tim Burton all-star cast. And we get the story again of Victor Frankenstein, who has a dog that he loves more than he loves science, in fact, and when the dog meets his untimely demise, we get Victor bringing him back to life. Only now we've expanded this storyline a little further. Word gets out amongst his schoolmates that he can do this, and the secret is out, and we have as his friends friends, if you will, and his fellow classmates try to bring back their own pets, and we see the consequences of those events happen all through the beautiful brilliance of Tim Burton's uh, artistic style expressed through stop-motion animation. Now, I love the fact that this film was stop-motion animation. I, Tim Burton does it so well. We've seen it in Corpse Bride, seen it in Nightmare Before Christmas, and we still see it here. Now, the movie's shot in black and white as just one of the many odes to those classic horror films. Another one are the other creatures that end up appearing in this film. You've seen them in the trailer. Uh, each one of them is a send-up, a, a ode, if you will, to the classic monsters from the uh, uh, creature from the Black Lagoon to the mummy to, to even, there's even a Gamera visit in there. Folks, uh, you get all those classic uh, send-ups to those monsters of uh, old, and I really love that bit of it. And there's even a little bit for you Hammer Horror fans out there. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is. I will just say Mr. and Mrs. Frankenstein have some excellent viewing tastes when it comes to their horror films. So check that out. You'll, you'll see a little ode even to the Hammer Horror in this film, okay? The production is great. All the stop motion animation looks fantastic. I loved, I just loved Tim Burton's style and also his jab. He continues his jab at suburban America in this film as we've seen in many of his other films like uh, Edward Scissorhands and, uh, you know, even in the original Frankie Weenie. So we get that, some of that Tim Burton style in here and commentary as well. But for the most part, it's for everybody. The adults are going to love all the horror monster references of, you know, the universal monsters and all the classic type of feel there. And the kids are going to love the stop motion animation and the funny events that happen with his classmates. Now, there are a few kind of darker, scarier moments, but on the whole, this film is pretty much for anyone over the age, I'd say, of nine, okay? Uh, any younger than that, they might get scared by a few of the creatures that appear in the film. But it's still Tim Burton at his best. You got Danny Elfman with a fantastic score, accenting Tim Burton's directing style. The two go together like Spielberg and Williams. You just can't imagine a movie that Burton does without Elfman doing the score. And he does brilliant in here and really has come a long way since his early uh, days of uh, being a composer. So love the score, look, and everything about this. I'm a big Tim Burton fan. It's no big surprise. But I was a little worried about this film going into it. That Worry left me within 15 minutes of this film. My favorite character is Mr. Uh, Riskowski. Uh, I loved him. He was voiced by Martin Landau, and he's just funny. He's going to have you rolling. So I give it four stubs, folks. Four stubs for Frank and Weenie. Definitely a film for everybody. You don't have to see it in 3D, and definitely worth your time. But you don't have to take my word for it. I thought it was a great movie, and... You and I liked the humor in it, and I liked how they made references to old horror films. Oh, I liked Colossus. You liked Colossus? Yeah. Yeah? What was he? Was he... He was a gerbil hamster thingy. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what he was. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.